Hey guys, so today we're going to be doing a full face, well, almost a full face of Westman Atelier makeup. And uh, I thought now would be a good time to do this because I just purchased their brand new super loaded tinted highlight in the new shade Peau de Rosé. I also purchased the new brush that she has come out with. It is the Baby Blender brush and I have her three original brushes. So we'll be using those today. And then when we get to the Pota Rosé Super Loaded Tinted Highlight, I figured I would go ahead and compare it to the other two uh, tinted highlights that they have, the Peau de Soleil and the Peau de Peche. So I've been using some self tanner. So uh, I don't know how well my shade in the Westman Atelier foundation stick is going to work. I have Atelier number one, and I think it's gonna be a little bit pale for me, uh, but we'll try and make it work. I do have their bronzer, so maybe it's just a matter of kind of warming up my skin once I put this down. So anyway, let's go ahead and get started. So one thing I learned uh, from one of the sales associates at the Westman Atelier counter when Barney's was still here at the Venetian is that she really liked to use the um, lit up highlight stick as a primer. And it was just something I never thought about doing. And once I started doing it, I, I just, I really, really loved it. I just really liked the way the foundation looked over this lit up um, highlighter stick. And there's something about this highlighter stick. It's just, it's very smoothing, but it's also very moisturizing. It gives your skin, I mean, it's a highlight stick. So there is a little bit of iridescence to it. So it's this nice kind of like glowy primer. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and apply that first. So it comes in this tube and all of her caps are magnetized and it just looks like a sheer balm, but there is a little bit of iridescence to it. I don't know if you can see that on my cheek right there. I think so. So I'm just gonna kind of swipe it generously all over. I have dry skin, so this kind of works for me. I don't know if you have oily skin, if this is what you're gonna wanna do, but I really like this because it does feel very moisturizing. So I'm just gonna take her blender brush. This is one of the original brushes. It's like a flat top kabuki brush and I'm just going to blend all of that in. And since foundation is going over this, I don't, I don't really feel like I have to blend it super evenly. I just sort of work it in. So there, just a really nice kind of glowy base. And now I'm gonna go in with the um, foundation stick. I guess we'll see if this is gonna be too light. I think it's okay. Maybe if I put on just like a little bit of a light layer and kind of work it out. So I'm gonna use her foundation brush. And these flat brushes aren't necessarily my favorite, but I figured I'd go ahead and demo it for you in case you were interested in her brushes. They're all very nice. They're all um, synthetic haired and they're made in Japan, handmade in Japan. And they are quite lovely. Um, but this particular like shape foundation brush, these like paddle brushes are just not really my favorite. But as far as paddle brushes go, this one is a very lovely one. So far so good. That was a very light layer. I'm gonna kind of lay it on a little bit thicker here and see how the color works. I'm gonna take the brush and just swipe it over the stick and just apply it to <laughs> areas where I need a little bit more help, like under my eyes. All right, there is the foundation applied. I really like this foundation stick. Many of you have been asking me, you know, to follow up on this. I made two videos, one when I first purchased like her initial collection and then a follow-up, I believe when I purchased her brushes, which came out later. And I really enjoy this foundation stick. I don't think this shade is like a perfect dead-on match for me. I think if it was, this would definitely kind of like skyrocket to the top of my foundation list. But because I think it's a little bit off. I think it's like a little bit too yellow for me. I wish that maybe it was a little bit more neutral. I think it would work better for me. But in terms of the texture and the formulation, I think it is really, really lovely. And I do really like it over this highlighter stick. When I was using it before I learned that little tip <laughs> from the makeup artist, uh, when I was using this just over primer, it was fine. It was totally fine. But there's something about this kind of like balm primer combination with this that I think really works well. I don't know if it's because maybe this isn't the most moisturizing. It's not drying and I don't feel like it looks dry on my skin necessarily, but it was just really nice to have this balm down first and then for this to kind of like mix with it a little bit. 
it's just really nice. So I love this combination. I think it looks really nice on the skin. And this foundation stick, it definitely lasts on my skin. I remember when I first got it, I took it to Maine. I traveled to Maine where it's very, very humid. And I was surprised at how well this held up. Most makeup, when it's really, really humid, it just kind of melts off of your face. But this did a really good job staying. Like by the end of the day, I remember it faded a little bit, but it wasn't like noticeable. It didn't look like it was like just melting off of my face. It just looked like it was like normal wear, like it just faded a bit. So I really enjoy this foundation stick. Um, let's go ahead and move on to bronzer. I'm gonna apply some of the bronzer. So I have the uh, Beauty Butter Powder Bronzer. And the formula of this bronzer is a little bit um, odd. <laughs> I know there's a better word for that, but it's a little bit odd. It was uh, very creamy when I first got it. And then it appeared to kind of get hard pan, but it wasn't like a typical hard pan. It was just almost like the, the appearance of it and the texture of it changed a little bit, but it's not like I can't get any product. It's, it's just, it's very interesting. It's very, very interesting. So I can pick up plenty of product, even though I'm sure you guys can see that, even though it looks like it has hard pan, it's not like typical hard pan. So anyway, let me just go ahead and apply some of this. I don't think this brush is big enough. This is the powder brush from Westman Atelier. I want something a little bit bigger, a little bit fluffier. So I'm gonna use my BK Beauty 102 brush. This is such a great, like fluffy, look at those bristles. <laughs> it's such a great fluffy brush. So I'm just going to pick up a little product and just bring a little bit of warmth back to my skin here. There we go. I feel like I have a little bit of that self tan back with this uh, butter bronzer. So there's the tone of the bronzer, a touch on the warm side, really, really natural. I really enjoy this bronzer. It's really quite nice. I do remember when I first picked this up, it was so soft. I was picking up way too much product and I would have to, you know, really spend some time blending it out. I feel like this faux hard pan has actually helped. I don't accidentally pick up that much product anymore, so it's actually worked out quite nicely. So that is the Beauty Butter Powder Bronzer. And I do have her contour stick. Uh, she only has one shade and it's in Biscuit. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and just add a little bit under my cheekbones here. It's very, very faint and it really only works, I think, on my skin tone and a little lighter, maybe a little bit deeper. It is a very natural, natural contour. It is not severe at all. So I'm just gonna use the blender brush and just kind of pat that in. I am hoping, now that I'm kind of trying to do a full face with this line, I am hoping she comes out with some powder and some concealer. That would be really, really awesome. All right, so just a little bit of contour, not too much, nothing crazy. You could see it blends in really, really nicely. So that was the Face Trace Contour Stick in Biscuit. Now let's go ahead and play with the Super Loaded Tinted Highlight. So let's take a look at this color. I haven't even opened this up yet. And oh, I love how the packaging of all three of the Super Loaded Tinted Highlights is just a little bit different. So the original, the Pot de Peche, has a matte black, but with a silver chrome rim. This new one, the Pot de Rosé, has a gold rim, and then the Pot de Soleil is in a gold package. Very, very cool. All right, let's do some swatching here. So here is the new, ooh, pretty. Here's the new Pot de Rosé. And if you guys are unfamiliar with these uh, tinted highlight formulas, they're basically like a cream product. So there is the Pot de Rosé. It's much more highlighty than I thought. Really pretty, pretty soft pink. And then let me swatch, here's the original, the Pot de Peche. I love this. I love using this actually as eyeshadow too, which I may do today. So there's the Pot de Peche right on top of the Pot de Rosé. And then here is the Pot de Soleil, and that is on top. So we have Pot de Soleil, Pot de Peche, and then Pot de Rosé. Gorgeous. 
All right. And I'm gonna use the new brush. So this is the Baby Blender brush, and all her brushes come in these awesome like cardboard tubes. And oh, it is a baby, it's so cute. So here is the Baby Blender. Let me just hold it up to the blender as reference. It is quite small, and I actually think, I may actually use this on my eyes because I do think I wanna use the Peau de Peche as eyeshadow. Like I mentioned, I really like doing that. I think this is a little bit too small for my cheeks. So yeah, let me use the original blender brush and go into the Peau de Rosé. And I'm just gonna apply this kind of all over my cheekbone. These super loaded tinted highlights, even though they're highlights, I think they double, obviously, they double as like a blush slash highlight. So I'm just going to get some on this brush and dab. Ooh, pretty. It's a very cool toned baby pink. Oh, I like that. Both the Pota Pesh and the Pota Soleil are warmer, as you probably noticed on the swatches. So this is a really nice addition to the family. Look at that sheen. It's so satiny and like healthy looking. It doesn't just look like I'm reflecting light or it doesn't just look like super metallic. It looks really, really natural. Oh, I love it. So there is the Pota Rosé applied. Very pretty, very feminine, great for the spring, summer. Um, I am going to go ahead and use the Pota Soleil just to show you guys. This is the one that's more of like a warm bronzy color. And I'm just gonna use the same brush. And I like to just add this kind of back here over my bronzer contour area. If I just want like a little bit more shimmer, and then I'll just make sure I kind of brush it into my hairline. So if I just want to add a little bit of shine to like my bronzer, that's what I'll do. I kind of end up using this as like a bronze topper, but it's great as like a warm colored blush if you want that. It's really lovely. But it just adds like a little bit of like sun kissness, <laughs> sun kissness to your skin with that sheen. All right. So far so good. I feel like I'm looking really tan and really healthy, despite the fact that I've just been sitting at home for like seven weeks now. All right, I am going to apply some of the Tom Ford Fiber Brow Gel. Um, I don't think West Men Atelier has any eyebrow product. Um, they do have a mascara, which I don't have. So unfortunately I won't be using uh, their mascara. But like I mentioned, uh, I'm gonna use that Pota Pesh as eyeshadow. So let me just finish up my brows here and we'll move on to eyes. All right, All right. here is the Pota Pesh and I'm gonna use this baby blender brush. I really like this brush, it's so cute. And I'm gonna pick up some product and I'm just going to add this all over. And this brush is great for that. It's really soft. All right, and at this point, sometimes I'll like tight line with an eyeliner. I'll just grab, you know, like a, like a rich brown or something, or I'll just add some mascara, which I think I'll do today, just to kind of keep it simple and light and fresh looking. So I'm gonna use my um, Tom Ford Badass Mascara, which I think finally is like on its last legs. But I am curious about the Westman Atelier Mascara. If any of you guys out there have used it, will you please let me know your thoughts? I am very curious about it. Even though mascara is not generally a product that excites me, um, I'm usually just really excited by anything Westman Atelier comes out with. So uh, yeah, let me know. Let me know down below in the um, comment section if you've used it and if you like it or don't like it, whatever your, your thoughts are. I would love to hear from you. All right, and finally, let's add some lips. So I have the Westman Atelier Lip Suede. There's only one shade in this uh, lip suede, but there's four colors in here. So I think I'm gonna try and do something on the cooler side, only because my cheeks, that Peau de Rosé is fairly cool. The Peau de Peche, a little bit warmer, but I think I can still do something kind of like focusing on this mauve color and maybe like maybe the top and the bottom shades. So I like just using my fingers with this product and just dabbing, dabbing it on. All right, so there's just this uh, bottom like mauve shade on my lips. 
I don't mind that at all. In fact, I really, really like it. Uh, but I just feel like playing around a little bit. So I'm going to add this uh, top brighter red color. I'm just going to pick up a little bit on my finger and just dab it in the center of my lips. Just to brighten it up a little bit. And there, you know what? I'm actually going to add some of this Peau de Peche on top. I've never done that before, but just thinking, why not? Oh, yeah. Just to give it like a little bit of a sheen. Ooh. All right. So happy with this final look. I just love the West Atelier line. I just feel like everything in the line is so well thought out and it's so beautiful. Like, I love having these compacts sitting around. Everything is just done so like impeccably. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you have any questions about this new Peau de Rosé. Um, but if you've had experience with our other super loaded tinted highlights, it's pretty much the same thing, just a different shade, as you can see. Just a kind of like cool, like rose petal pink, just really pretty. So give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe down below if you haven't already, and I'll see you in my next video.